Our aspiration is that you should be well educated. But for lack of money, our beautiful dreams are dying gradually. My dreams and visions are going down the drain. Lord, bless me so that I can do what other fathers are doing. A man that lives in poverty is nothing but a loving corpse. Poverty is a silent killer of dreams and aspirations. Your father sold his inheritance, the Coco farmland, just to ensure that you complete your secondary school education. And you know how much you and I labored and suffered before you completed your first year in the university. Yewande, your father and I have got into the Red Sea. We cannot proceed again. Hmm. The daybreak of poverty that overwhelmed us has exposed the secrets of our dancing with rats at night. If you are destined to be one of the scholars in our village. Before sunrise, God will make him a way. is your headache. Huh? Auntie, try to understand me. I can't do it. It's evil. And besides, I come from a very good Christian home. Shut up! Spare me that sermon. You always boast of your 
so-called God fairy parent? Is it not your so-called godly parents that advised you to withdraw from the university? After spending two good years just because of their inability to finance your education? Huh? And that's why I've come to you for help. Please. Baby girl, then you've, you've got to dance to the beats. Yes. You have to do what I asked you to do. Yemane, you must do it. <laughs> because that is the only help I can render to you. Hmm? Prostitution? Uh-huh. Uncle, hey, please, do you know my brother's whereabouts? You mean Tale? Uh, yes. Tale has a... Uh... Baby girl. God endowed you with such beauty just because of a time like this. You give what you have to get what you want. It's 50-50. Iwani, if a sugar daddy takes you out for a night, you will enjoy yourself to the fullest and also get a huge amount of money. Some can give you like 50, 70, even 100k just for a single night. Iwani, now, tell me, what kind of business is more lucrative and profitable than this? Iwani, just take a look at me. I'm a married woman. And yet, I get more excited about the job, day by day. All because those sugar daddies give me a lot of pleasure. <laughs> And I seriously enjoy myself to the core. Baby girl, those good Samaritan men have used their money to mold the destinies of many girls like you in your school. And they are living like big girls on campus. You mean Tale has left school since last week? <laughs> but where? Bros, what sort of question is that? Your brother is one of the big boys on campus. And uh, if you care, I don't know his whereabouts. What? I can't believe this. Tali has switched off his phone. You should understand now, bros. See, big boys like that are not allowed to answer unnecessary calls in that kind of club. Club? Did you just say club? What club is that? There's no fake today that will be tomorrow No money today, tomorrow we will reach Sorrow meet a tonight, joy will come in the morning 
Don't give up, don't give up. There's no meat today that will be tomorrow. No money today, tomorrow we will reach sorrow. Meet a written night, joy we come in the morning. Don't give up, don't give up. Yeah! Oh, yeah! God endowed you with such beauty just because of your time wages. You give what you have to get what you want. Wait on him, wait patiently. He will see you true, he will never fail. All your friends may turn you down today. Fuck you. That seems right to a man. But the end of it is eternal destruction. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? A bench on the road does not mean the end of the road. Don't give up. But hold to your faith in Christ till one day. Don't trade your glorious future with the devil. Tears may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Stomach, don't try anything funny, alright? Move on! Move it, sir! Oh, 
Mama, you one day, what is it now? Ah, this is past midnight. Why are you weeping? Mama, you one day, I have dreamt again. I saw our only daughter lying down in a coffin. Huh? Dream? Yes. Baba Yewande? Huh? So you woke me up because of one stupid dream? Oh, Baba Yewande. Don't ever, ever wake me up because of one evil imagination called dreams. Make sure you take very good care of her. She's not among those bad girls. <laughs> but look, uh, Rose. Um, are, are you sure this, this girl you are talking about? Are, are, are you sure she can play this game very well? Ah, Chief. Trust me now. Very, very well. I mean very, very well. Yes, I <laughs> promise you. Rose, Rose. Rose the Iron Lady, the smartest of all ladies, dreadful only for all men. Mm. <laughs> Chief, enough of that. Anyway, Chief, I have more business to attend to tonight. Look, Rose, you, you, you love money too much. Mm. Too much. Mm. What about you, Chief? You love those sweet girls on the street more than your wife. Look, don't let my wife hear that. Don't let her hear that. <laughs> Rose, Rose, the smartest of all ladies. Chief, just a minute. thousand naira for your friend's school fees and don't forget the promise your dad and I made concerning our education. Oh mom, I'm very grateful. The Lord will bless you and daddy. Amen. Thanks so much. Huh? Mom, let me be on my way. I can't wait till tomorrow morning. Before breaking this good news to you, Andy. It's alright. Let me go, ma. Bye bye. Bye, mom. Okay. Bye. When will you give your life to Jesus? When will you give your life to Jesus? He shed his blood. He died for you. When will you give your life to Jesus? He shed his blood, he died for you in order to save you. Give your life to him. Hi, you don't know if she will come back tonight. I don't think so, because she told us to lock the door when it is time to go to bed. Did she tell you where she was going to? No. I even asked her when she was going. Because it's unusual for her to leave the hostel at night. But she refused to answer me. Maybe she went for a vigil. Or she might as well have gone to night class to prepare for the forthcoming exams. switched off. Well, in any case, when she comes back, tell her that I was there and that she has a message. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Baby girl. He's coming, coming. You want it, yeah? Ask your Lord and your Savior on it. You will have your portion in the lake of fire forever. Then you shall be. If you failed to accept Jesus, ask your Lord and your Savior on it. You will have your portion in the lake of fire Forever there you shall be When will you give your life to Jesus? When will you give your life to Jesus? He shall his blood He died for you in order to save you Salvation Procrastination is a thief of time. Hello, sir. Never wait. I'm at the gate. Tomorrow. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, Mrs. Rose. Exactly. Yes. I was on my way to the church for a visit when I found it on the ground. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, but ma, the way and manner you spoke with me on phone this morning sounded very funny to me. I'm very sorry for that. I was just curious to know where the phone was. As a matter of fact, what really matters to me is the contact of my business partners and other vital information stored in it. But I must confess, I find it so difficult to believe that someone like you, a righteous woman, can still be found in our society. This phone is very expensive and you will return it to me just like that. Without any demand. Uh, well, I still believe that no matter the level of corruptions in Sodom and Gomorrah, there will still be somebody like Lot. 
A bit mad. What was a decent and irresponsible woman like you doing at Liberty Clubhouse at that hour of the night? <laughs> to the one who saved your dear life from timely death. I think it is high time you surrendered your life to Jesus. Tale, don't abuse this grace of free salvation. Um, bros, I appreciate your efforts and that of daddy's lawyer during my period of trials. But the father that I escaped death 
That's not me that I should be stupid by giving my life to your so called Jesus. Ah, uh -uh. yeah, Tali. If my ways of life does not please your God, then let it send me back into the prison. Ah, uh -uh. Tali. Very short time I'll be here. I'll catch up with you. Don't worry, when I get I'll set in you. Did it work? <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I've had you, I've had you. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastard. You are mad. You were greeting of death. And somebody came from nowhere and took your place. Instead of you to appreciate the man, here you are. Boasting around the street like a big boy. Or oh, do you think you escaped death because of your father's connection? No. Now, go back to your brother and do exactly what he required of you. Otherwise, I will waste your life. Please stand up. Tale. Tale. Uh, even though you're going to lose your life here on earth, you can't afford to lose your dear soul in the lake of fire. Christ has paid the price for your death oh, with his precious blood. On the cross of Calvary. Tale. Why don't you reconcile with your creator? Before death comes. This heart must not be our final separation, Tale. My brother, I'm ready to give a life to Jesus. I'm ready to spread up and left to Christ. Thank you, oh Jesus. my God. Oh, wonderful. It might be if I've known Jesus before the dark time of my life. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Jesus. Tale, Ojuade, your time is up. Oh. Oh. Tale. Oh, my brother. Oh, oh. My brother, good man. Goodbye. 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 not die. She is the only hope I have for life. Doctor, my hope is going down into the pit of this show. Please save us. Doctor, don't allow my carelessness. Turn our joy into eternal sadness. Please do something to save our daughter. Please, please. Sir and ma'am, your daughter's case is beyond medical attention. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid because with what we saw last night, since my 12 years of practice, 
I've never seen such. Can you believe that your daughter is? Anyone who refuses to take to a godly castle will head up in shame and destruction. You want me several times. <laughs> and Holy Spirit cast on me. But I refused the castle. I hid out to my own way. Not knowing that I was dragging along the way of destruction. Ah! I have sought out my glorious future for the love of money. Esther, how I wish that young ladies like me would learn a lesson from my foolishness. You are dead. It's okay. God will deliver you. Don't bother to pray for me again. I have toyed with my glorious destiny. And the devil has snatched it from me. Let me go. Let me go. This pain is too much for me to bear. <laughs> ah. Shame overwhelm my spirit. As a result of Tales' death, the incident does not give me joy. The incident does not give me boldness to preach about Christ to others again. The righteous one. I feel we John, should. John. Truly, your brother lost his soul on earth. But it is not so in heaven. Yes, Dallas' death is a great gain to him because he made it to heaven at last. John, look at him in the bosom of Abraham. Now, great joy fills my heart. 
I am grateful to God. <laughs> the talent made it at last. John, don't rejoice because of talent. But rather work hard to ensure that you also make it at the end of the day. May God help me. But in any case, I am confident that I will make heaven. I am going to join Tale to celebrate at the master's feet. I'm going to be Don't rejoice because of Tale. But rather work hard to ensure that you also make it at the end of the day. is taking off today. Yeah. The only available flights will take off 9 a.m. this morning. Watch your time. It's almost 8 a.m. Besides, um, on a more serious note, uh, I forgot to tell you last night that I will be commencing the three days prayer and fasting for the success of the program. I'm sorry that I couldn't eat the food of my Madam Dearest. Anyway, your father. My suit, my suit, please. My suit. Okay. Thank you. Keep watching and um, tell me how I look. Christian programs on cable television. So, last week, I had the privilege of watching your church's television program. And Reverend, I must confess, I was blessed tremendously. It is the Lord's doing. Uh, we bless God for it. All glory be to Him. Um, when you were making the announcement after your sermon, you mentioned that um, your church is planning to construct a magnificent state-of-the-art new church auditorium and also to purchase modern musical instruments. Yes, yes. The Lord actually... Uh, promised us and we believe him for it. Hmm. Hmm. Um, since that very day, I listened to your sermon. I've been having this very strong urge within me to sow into the work of God. I mean, I've been having this, this very strong urge and um, Reverend, how oh. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Reverend, I 
have the honor of presenting this church. Uh, it is for the construction of the new church auditorium. Ah. The purchase of modern musical instruments and also a personal gift for you in appreciation of what God is using you to do in this country. God. God. You are such a wonderful God. You promised us this and you did it. Also have the honor in presenting this key to you. This key is the key of a brand new key. I believe it will enhance the work of God. My God. Oh God. Oh God. Chief, the Lord will bless you. Let us pray. Reverend Mark, woe unto him that caused the unholy things holy. The sacrifice of a sinner God will despise. He takes no pleasure in their bond offering, but he wants them to turn back from their evil ways. Reverend Mark, Reverend Mark, don't accept the sacrifice and bond offering that God is not pleased with. It is a terrible For in our area. Uh -uh. You mean you live around there? <laughs> of course. The third building by your left is my flat. 
Wow. Uh, anyway, I came to greet one of my uncles who lives around there. This is a divine arrangement. And this is the best time for me to appreciate you for what you did for me the other time. Right. Mr. John, I'll be so excited if you can permit me to host you in my house today. Okay, yeah, hey, but I won't stay long. Of course, you are free to leave at any time. It's a pleasure. When will you give your life to Jesus? When will you give your life to Jesus? He shed his blood, he died for you in order to save you. Give your life to him. When will you give your life to Jesus? When will you give your life to Jesus? He shed his blood. He died for you. You are welcome to my house. Wow. I love the interior decoration. This is very nice. Thank you. Please do have your seat and feel comfortable. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. John. Mark is a genuine man of God. He is fully loaded and anointed for signs and wonders. Sister Joke, I won't deceive you. I desire his kind of anointing. It is my earnest prayer that God will help me to live the kind of life Reverend Mark is living. My sister, I want to be like him. Romayawa, you better desire to be what God wants you to be in life rather than praying to be like any man of God. Are you 
you know it. You know that for ministry to go international, it needs money. Hmm. Faithful is he that called. For he will also do it. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to hacking than the fat of ram. And Samuel went to Saul and said unto him, The Lord your God sent you on a mission. Go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they are consumed. But Saul disobeyed the word of his God and did evil in the sight of the Lord. He swooped on the spoil. Hmm. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as the sin of idolatry. Reverend Mark, Reverend Mark, as the Lord rejected Saul as king over Israel, he has also rejected you and taken the ministry away from you. God, cut down the tree. Don't let them cut it! <laughs> don't let them cut it! <laughs> ah, please, please, ah, I just want please, don't let them cut it! Please, 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 don't let them ah! The Lord said, if you do not repent of the evil and seek his face, the ministry will be taken away from you. Ah. And to do all his commandments, God will lift you and set you on high above all nations of the earth. If you act diligently, to the voice of. Are you the one who wrote the tract? Yes, sir. I got your phone number from the contact address written on it. Uh, but sir, how did you get the tract? I was foiling my car about three weeks ago. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My young lady, and what can I do for you? So I want you to go through this at your leisure time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sir. I stumbled on the tract two days ago when I was searching for one of my lands. Please, can you explain? How can a rich man become a fool? The rich man thought within himself, Say, What shall I do? Since I have no room to store my crops. So he said, I will pull down my bounds and build greater. And then I will say to my soul, So, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, 
eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul shall be required of you. Then, whose will those things be which you have provided? Sir, this is how it will be for everyone that laid not his treasure in heaven. Chief, a man's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. As a partridge that broods but does not hash, so is he who gets riches but not by right. He will leave it in the midst of his days. And at the end of his life, he will be a fool. of ladies. <laughs> I'm so sorry for coming late. No problem. But I hope you are ready for the Iron Ladies party. I'm ready. I'm set. Um, look, my friend, um, you have to excuse us. There is a very important function I have to attend. And we are already running out of time. Please let me go and check. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I think we can set you up, my friend. My friend. Whenever I'm set, I'll give you a call. And you will come, we'll have time to discuss. There's time. There's always time. There's discuss. Time. Eh? My very good friend. You are welcome. <laughs> right. Then you can change it into something. I'll do it. Without pleasure, I would like to invite our beloved sister to come and bless us with angelic voice. Please, join your hands together with me. As I welcome our dearest sister, Sister Joke Samuel, to the podium. Administration is a batale bale when night comes. I pray you will bless as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen.
can sound at any moment for you not to regret the end of your life that was why the Holy Spirit laid this strongly on my heart to come and present to you this offer of free salvation today because tomorrow may be too late and he rose many people around the world abusing this same grace by delaying their salvation. Panty Rose, why don't you forsake your sins and come to the cross of Calvary? Thank you, Jesus. Let me pray with you. Legal wife suddenly turns to a prostitute. Rose, you have turned my house to a hotel, and you have the audacity to bring bastard Jesus. into my house to sleep with you. Hey. Now. Tell me, who is this bloody civilian? I'm not there, India. He, 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 he's my cousin. Uh, my cousin. Uh, uh, he's the one I told you that he lives in Joss. He came to visit Grandma at the village. He now decided to say hello to me. Uh. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sh sh she's right. I, I live in Joss. Bet? Yeah? Why is he you holding your hands? Mommy. Why are you crying? <laughs> it just broke the news of the death of my uncle's wife in UK. <sighs> Mommy, twist. He never told us that we're going to go to the soon. Stop crying, my dear. Stop crying. Stop crying. <sighs> I know. I, I, I'm very sorry, Aya. Thanks. This way. It's based on the wrong information people fed me about my wife. Uh, besides, I didn't know you are one of my wife's relatives. Oh, I'm sorry. Sir. My brother, please, don't be annoyed with my husband's reaction. It's just because he has not seen you before. Eh? Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go in. So that we take a shower. My brother, when you get to the village, let me greet Grandma. Tell her that she should be expecting me by the end of the month. Eh? I will see her there. Take care of yourself, eh?
voice of the Lord to observe and to do all His commandments. God will lift you and set you on high above. Never mark. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn back from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Reverend Mark, since you have already corrected your ways before the Lord, there is hope for a tree. For if it is cut down, it will sprout again. And its tender shoots will not cease. Though its roots may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Sacrifice for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Obey the voice of God, obey the voice of God is better than sacrifice for rebellion. Is as the On the God of June this year. At the Saturday 9.45 p.m., you and your friend had an accident on the way to a night party. It is a pity you could not survive the incident. Man has been destined to die once, and after death, judgment. <laughs> ah! Ah! No, no! The <laughs> ah! No, please, please! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> ah! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Since have refused you have reviews to give your life to Christ, and it's your final destination. That is why I'm here. salvation in my hand has refused to bring sinners to repentance. I jingled it. I jingled it. But it refused to sound. And I am confused.
What is happening? Your ministry has become dead as a result of your sins. The bell of salvation in your hands failed to bring sinners to repentance because of the sin in your life. Sin? Yes! Sin! The Tanaromi chapter 5 verse 20 says, You shall not be a false witness because of fear. You go false witness. Because of fear, you lie. Yeah, but host of heaven, I didn't take the matter so serious. I didn't count it as a big deal. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. God sacrifices true repentance, a broken spirit, and a contract act. God will not despise. John, Ojoade, before it is too late, go and make your ways right before God. Make your way straight before him. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Devil like a roaring lion walking about seeking Simon, you need to sign this document. Sir, what you're asking me to do is wrong, and you know it. Besides, I'm a Christian. Truly, the company awarded five million naira for the project, but at the end of the day, we spent four point two million naira to complete the project. Sir, I think the right thing to do is to return the balance of eight hundred thousand naira back to the company's accounts. But sir, why are you forcing me to sign a document that shows that the entire five million naira was spent on the project? Miss Tokesan. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sh sh she's right. I, I leave it just. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. God sacrifices true repentance, a broken spirit, and a contract act God will not despise. But the word of the Lord says, wisdom is profitable to direct. And I think I apply godly wisdom to save myself from danger. <laughs> Mr. John, what is it? It is true. Hell is real. It is full of bitter tears and unending pain. Ah. The inhabitants are crying in serious agony. Mr. John, please. Please, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to be born again. Ah, I want to be born again. Hey! What should I do? It is full of... I also need to talk to God. And present my case before Him. The inhabitants are crying in serious agony. Bet, this is a great opportunity to bring this soul to the cross. I should not postpone our salvation. Ah. 
What shall I do? Please, Mr. John, lead me to the cross. I don't want to perish. I don't want to perish. I don't want to go to hell. Okay, okay. I don't want to go to hell. Let me pray with you. Let me pray. Start I, confessing your sins to them. Do you remember how you got to join this community? We have just 30 minutes to get the report of this project to the head office in Calabar. Mr. Kesama, is either you sign it or you lose a job?
get prepared so that you won't miss out. You have to be vigilant, getting ready like a thief in the night. Jesus, we come. Rapture of the saints is knocking at the door. Get prepared so that you won't miss out. The coming of the Lord is unexpected. Rapture will take place. Unexpected. Jesus we come unexpected trumpet we send unexpected the coming of the Lord is unexpected rapture we take place unexpected Jesus we come unexpected trumpet we send unexpected when the Lord shall come will you be ready when they voice come from the sky where will you be when it sounds so loud to take up the saints will you be ready to go with the Lord when the Lord shall come Will you be ready when the voice come from the sky? Where will you be when it sounds so loud to take up the saints? Will you be ready to go with the Lord? The coming of the Lord is unexpected. Rapture will take place. Unexpected. Jesus will come. Unexpected. Trumpet we send. Unexpected. The coming of the Lord is unexpected. Rapture will take place. Unexpected. Jesus will come. Unexpected. Trumpet we sat on his bed.